Hey everyone, Ross McCorkle here with another episode of The Depot 180. As the NFL draft draws closer and closer, I urge you to check out the various resources on Steelers Depot. The contributors have done nearly 200 draft profiles and work tirelessly to make this the best one-stop shop for Steelers draft coverage on the internet. Also be sure to check out the culmination of some of that work in action as mock drafts and big boards start to get formulated on the site. Further on the draft, it has been suspected ever since Art Rooney II stated his desire for an improved run game that the Steelers might go running back in the first two rounds of the draft. James Conner is still a free agent and the Steelers don't have a slam dunk workhorse waiting in the wings. For that reason, there has been a lot of attention towards the Steelers selecting Najee Harris with their first round draft selection. Experts around the league are mocking him to the Steelers and Adam Schefter even went as far to say on his podcast that he would not be surprised to see Najee a member of the Steelers. Najee, in turn, said that this pre-draft virtual meeting with Tomlin Colbert was one of the coolest ones he has had. At this point, it seems that if Najee falls and is available when the Steelers to make their selection at pick 24, he will likely be the pick. Dave Bryan said it best, the Steelers could not have any more fingerprints on Najee Harris at this point in the process. Pro day visits, pre-draft visits, and he fits a lot of the criteria they look for in drafting a running back. This probably doesn't come as a surprise to many, but Sam Darnold, who everyone seemed to want to talk about getting traded to the Steelers, ended up getting traded to Carolina Panthers, so the little chance that was there is now gone. Steven Nelson went on social media to talk about his free agency process. To sum it up, when asked if he was a casualty of the 2020 lowered salary cap, he replied, quote, yes. He did say there's a market out there as he has talked to around half the teams in the league, but he was expecting a nice pay raise for a couple strong seasons. Don't get too excited, as it's probably not within the cards for him to circle back to the Steelers. Outside of obscene contract structures with voidable years, there isn't much more cap massaging the Steelers can do. One interesting bit from hearing Nelson talk was that the Steelers never approached him about a pay cut. It was basically either get traded or get cut. He did mention that he has no hard feelings between him and the Steelers, which is always good to hear. Let me know how you enjoyed the video on Twitter at Ross underscore McCorkle. And as always, visit SteelersDepot.com for your latest and greatest Steelers breaking news and analysis.